And also be on the lookout. Here soon, we're going to be doing some online virtual uh, clinic type classes where we're going to do a little bit of, uh, we're going to, they're going to be small classes. I'm going to limit, limit them to about six or seven people, uh, probably six people. And we're going to have small classes to where we're going to go through specific topics. Uh, and you'll be able to sign up for multiple of them. They're going to be real cheap. But you'll get to sit in class on a live call. We'll talk about those topics. We'll go through slideshow present it all, and then you'll also have the ability to send a video to be analyzed on those specific topics. So uh, pay out, make, make sure to pay attention to that and see that coming. But in What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Shopmakers Pro Shop here in Toledo, Ohio, where today we're gonna talk about some of the don'ts. And I, what I mean by don'ts is the don't do. Uh, when we're talking about hooking the ball, trying to curve the ball, get as much out of the ball as we can, here are some of the don'ts. We're gonna talk about what not to do when curving the ball here in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the don'ts and what I don't want you to do when you're trying to curve the ball. Some of the things that are real typical for people to do are things like, you know, the chicken wing, the over rotation, the uh, the hand on top of the ball, certain things like that that we don't want to do. So I'm going to take my uh, my big bro burn up here by swag, and I'm going to show you uh, those types of things that people do. When they get to the bottom of the swing, the habit tends to be, well, I want to make the ball curve more, so I'm going to try to help it curve, and I'm going to twist my hand as much as I can. I'm going to turn the ball as much as I can. And all that really does is it just causes a little bit of top spin, which doesn't make the ball see the lane, it doesn't give you proper roll. It doesn't do anything that really benefits you at all when it comes to bowling. So we don't want to see your hand overturn and get your fingers going towards the pins. That's never a good idea. What I'd rather see you do is I want to see your hand, your palm stay towards the pins with your fingers to the inside part of the ball, and then you rotate to the outside. Never let your fingers go past this point. So you're going to rotate from here to there, and that's about it, because that's all it takes to really rotate the ball to get it to spin down lane. Now the other thing people like to do is they like to throw their elbow into it. They like to go and they do the same thing. They'll go this way and they'll throw their elbow into it and they'll just try to really come around the ball and it just never does you any good. Because when you do stuff like that, you watch, you get that crazy side spin, the thumb ends up facing me and then I get some uncontrollable junk going down the lane rather than an actual good ball roll. When we're trying to get better at this game, we want to have a good ball roll with consistent hand motion every single time. So we're going to take that again, and I'm going to show you. So those, that actually, that was the two of those combined. That was the overturn with the hand and the elbow turn. Well, that's, not, that's what we don't want to do. What we do want to do is we want to be inside, like I said, fingers inside. We're going to rotate just a little bit. So we're going to get from here to there just like that, and it's just gonna rotate just a little bit. So you watch it when you get to the dry, it's gonna get to the dry, make its motion, and then roll forward. But you gotta remember, the entire thing about ball motion is about skid, hook, and roll. So you just saw all three motions there in the first 15 feet, because I threw it dead into the dry. So it skidded through the first, you know, let's call it 10 feet, it hooked in the next two feet, and then it just rolled the next three feet, or I guess the next, you know, however many feet there are going the rest of the way down the lane. So when you're going to practice and you're really looking at your hand position, you're trying to get better at rolling the ball and hooking the ball, try to focus on those don'ts as far as don't do those things. If you do them, get yourself on camera, check to see if you do them. If you don't do them, you're in good shape. Uh, if you do those things, then you need to try to make the corrections. Maybe hit me up on, uh, on virtual lessons. We got them over here at bowlerx.com. There's gonna be a link in the description. If you wanna get virtual lessons, you can either do them live with me, you can send me a video, and then we'll get on a live conference call and we'll go through that video together. Or you can just simply send the video over. I'll go through it, send a new video over to you with me going through the, the critique or the, uh, the actual uh, lesson, I guess you would say, of me trying to show you what you should do to try to get a little bit better. So make sure to head over to BowlerX.com, sign up today, uh, maybe even use discount code JRX. It might work. I'm not sure if it does or not. If not, that's all right. It's still only a couple bucks. It's not a big deal. And also be on the lookout. Here soon, we're going to be doing some online virtual uh, clinic type classes where we're going to do a little bit 
of uh, we're gonna they're gonna be small classes. I'm gonna limit them, limit them to about six or seven people, uh, probably six people. And we're gonna have small classes to where we're gonna go through specific topics. Uh, and you'll be able to sign up for multiple of them. They're gonna be real cheap. But you'll get to sit in class on a live call. We'll talk about those topics. We'll go through slideshow present it all and then you'll also have the ability to send a video to be analyzed on those specific topics so uh pay out make make sure to pay attention to that and see that coming but until next time guys i'm out of here we'll see you later